Welcome back to Anthony's Cross Threaded Garage. Today we still need to finish out the cab corners, but right now I got a mess I am trying to work around right now and it's just not working out. I got some cheap shelving I'm gonna put up here. I got off of Amazon and try to get organized here before I start back into my body work, so. Let's get after the cleaning. Get finishes up. All right, we just take a little slip. We take regular 80 90 weight. Let's go pin it in from the top. I'll oh, just squeeze her in there. Freaking stinks. Hey, see, it has no spout. So, what I'll do what I'll do here is just take and just dump it and fill this bottle back up. Gonna we'll mix it anyway. I'll we'll get a little additive in there. Put our spout back on, and we'll get back to filling it up. tells you to fill a little bit below the hole. That's not even the right depth cover for this truck, so. Oh well, here we go. She's closed up. She'll be ready to run here. We'll see what happens. I bet it's going to make noise, and I bet we're going to have to do it again. Takes just a 3 8 for this plug, tighten it up. Don't forget about it. Okay. Alright, now I didn't finish this up completely with sanding it down, so now I have to sand it down. I'll be using an orbital sander, which my air compressor is really loud over there, so it's going to, it's just going to be video of me sanding. That's all it's going to be, because you ain't going to be able to hear me talk. And we'll try to get this smoothed out, Let's try to get this primer. This should have been done last video, but it wasn't. And then I need to go around to the other side of the truck and I need to fix that cap corner over there. It's like a daddy show I'm watching. It is, it is a daddy show. So, what Rosie? Let's get sanded? Yep. Let's get sanded. I didn't learn my words yet. It was an accident. This looks like a big old booger on there. Look at it, it's like snot rolling off. <laughs> You gotta get the sander here. <laughs> so we get this thing fired up. Clear out. Let's try and clear out. Try to get some sanding done now.
I mean, I'm running primer, it's too cold to paint. But, to show it up, a little pass inspection will get me through this year until I decide what car I'm gonna paint this thing, if I'm gonna paint it. That's if I don't wreck it, blow it up, tear the rear end up, or something like that. Bank metal fabrication on the other side, get the rocker cap corner in. All right, we're back. This side's a little different than the other side. Just the simple fact is we're doing the rocker. The rocker was good. This side's different because we're doing the rocker. Don't you worry about that door. I got another door outside for it. But the rocker right there is bad. I don't know. The rest of it's pretty good. I think I'm... Just gonna cut a little bit back here to here. Where I still got good metal. And not worry about it. All right, on this cap corner, I was able to. I was able to put a mark right there and a mark right there. And what I'm gonna do is run a tape from one side to the other. Give me a good cutting line. <laughs> we gotta make some masking tape. <clears throat> That's not ripping right. That's a masking tape. I'll go from my line here on this side. I'll stretch her right out. Oh, then I'm gonna be liberal with my cut. I'm gonna give me a little bit more gap right here. So when I get it fitted up, I don't have to. You can't, it's harder to add metal than it is to take away. So I'll cut this bit off, fit it up, and see what I got. There's my cut. Let's see how she fits. Let's see how mad I can I be at this. I don't think I'm going to be too mad at it. I think I need, a, I need to trim some more back here so I can slide it up. I like how it fits. I am going to try to cut across there like I see some of these other fellers doing on TV. And make it fit better. But first, I'm going to drill some holes for my tacks. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look that pretty, but we're gonna go ahead and try to weld it. Looks better than the other side, and that's on hard.
probably taking a lot of video of me grinding and everything else because who wants to see somebody grind and grind and grind? I don't really like doing it. But we do got a first layer of bindu on there. And even underneath, even though this thing's slammed on the ground, we'll make her look nice. Probably gonna pull the transmission out, to be honest. Probably gonna pull the transmission out next after I get this sanded down and get this stall converter put in. And then, after I get the transmission in, I'll be able to come back in here and tear this whole motor off, the front of this motor off, put a cam in it, put valves in it, put, I'm gonna put headers on it, I'm gonna redo the exhaust. And then we'll be able to drive it after I put the bed back on. And then we'll be able to work on some other projects like the Audi and the Studebaker and some other stuff. All right, so next thing. And I got a transmission jack. It's a little bit overkill for what I need. Try to get this transmission pulled out today. Get that left cab corner sanded up and primed. Beautiful weather for, yeah. It's beautiful weather for February, huh? moving around a little bit on the uh, get a touch of hangover today but I don't take this truck eating transmission big mamma jamma I try to get this 4080 out and at least get that done for today take my exhaust off bell housing bolts off which I need to redo that exhaust anyway it's kind of Merle Haggard over there
adapter is made for an 18 eating speed. This adapter is made for an eating 18 speed. I gotta remove this adapter. All right, so I'm gonna get this big name of jammer underneath there. I should just have to separate it. Well, she ain't gonna come out. Let me find some way to lock this torque converter in. Now, since I got a well defined mess, Change the torque converters out, and then I'm gonna start cleaning up and I'll be done with this video. But just look at the size. Just taking this big heavy thing out with a clutch and everything else in it and put a little 3200 stall in. Should work well with the cam, intake, rear end, everything else I'm doing with the truck. I don't know anything about this company, but it says the best damn torque converters. Florida. I uh, will see. There we go. She's in. Done with the cab corners. Got my new torque converter in. Rear end's been done. Got this other cab corner done. That's it for right now. See you next weekend. Or a weekend after. I don't know. Sometime. <laughs>